Hi guys, Lee here with your free market update. It is the 7th of February. Let's take a look at the FTSE 100 here. Just had an interest rate decision out of the Bank of England and no, not much change really. Um, we're seeing the FTSE come off a little bit. Now, looking at the monthly time frame here, you can see that we've had this market push down with the bearish divergence. A really nice trend predictor at the start of 2018. Remember, this is the monthly time frame. A nice pro trend system short all the way down here. And now for the month of February, we're getting a trend predictor short signal. It has not closed yet, hasn't confirmed, so we cannot um, trade from that signal just yet until the end of February. But looking promising for more, maybe a push up here, then, then a bit more downside here on the FTSE. Uh, that's going to come right, possibly right to this sort of 200 period moving average on the monthly, uh, which is about 6,000. So this nice move down, we're getting the corrective uh, uh, reversion to the main trend predictor. We may see a little bit more downside in the FTSE. Taking a look on the weekly time frame here, you know, we've had a really nice, um, several nice moves here. We had, obviously that was the divergence. We made a nice pro trade system short, confirmed then with two trend predictor arrows red. So we continued the short FTSE until we got the trend predictor long three weeks ago. And ever since there, we pushed higher. Now, because of that monthly is in position, we could certainly see a deeper downside correction here uh, on the FTSE starting next week, maybe starting today, later on today or tomorrow. Um, but if we want to take any significant swing trades, uh, we really need to see it, this type of signal where we see some red pro trend system signals on the uh, weekly time frame. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the daily on the FTSE. Um, we're in a situation here where we had this beautiful momentum trigger, pushed higher and got the pro trend system by. Uh, I've got some uh, Fibonacci extensions up in and around this area. That's why we're stalling a little bit today coming down. But it was all about long side trades over the last several days. As we pushed up, nice PTS buy. That's moved up about three, 400 points up into this high where it's just stalling. We are due a pullback and as of yesterday's newsletters, um, you know, that pullback to 7,100. And then we see where we go from there because we do have more upside at 7,364 potential uh, as we work with these counts, waves all the way up here. Okay, so a lot of green on the board here on the uh, daily time frame. Pullback may happen, well, it will happen. But, you know, at the moment, this could continue to high, uh, higher. Uh, a little bit further above 7,200 on the FTSE. And uh, from there, we'll see where we go. But extended right at the highs here, not a swing trading area to go long. Uh, I'd want to see more of a pullback to want to go long this market. And also the DAX in here, guys. Let's take a look at the DAX. Uh, DAX is red PTS week, uh, monthly on the right hand side. No reason to want to go long that market with that monthly resistance right up there. Um, the daily time frame, uh, the weekly time frame here is slamming into resistance, no red on that. Um, but we did have some divergence on the um, daily time frame, which has brought this price down and we were looking for short side trades, which is where we've got out of now that divergence on the daily time frame played out really nicely. Let's take a little look at uh, euro dollar and euro dollar had you know it's been it's been it's been a good day trading instrument monthly time frame very bearish been red for months on end now uh, since 15 115 90 continues to drop down that's a couple of hundred pip movement uh, I've got targets of 11006 10434 we are still Short side, momentum trigger, PTS short side still playing out really nicely. Got a trend line running up the lows here, which is just stalling that price a little bit. So let's see if we can break through that. Um, weekly time frame, we've got 
a white pro train system so i'd love to see this now turn red over the next now hopefully by the end of this week and next week and that will really accelerate the euro to the downside and on the daily time frame it's been red for a few days so we traded that 114.09 and we're hitting targets uh, as we go down now the only thing the only thing i'm looking at is this 76.4 percent of that swing there which comes in at 113.42 does it hold here do we get one two a b c to the upside um, if we start and close below 76.4 we've got to get beyond that 112.89 if we do that then that big move is well underway guys so we're sitting right at the area of if this thing's going to reverse and push up for an abc higher here then it's got to happen now uh, otherwise euro dollar is in major trouble and it's down 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 and uh, much lower prices guys that's why i am looking at euro sterling for short side trades as well and start to initiate those um and then one final market let's have a little look at gold for you gold on the monthly fired off a long system trade in january 2019 we've got momentum trigger firing higher we've had long side trades trend predictor on the weekly it's pushed up uh very nicely indeed uh, once again, we're at that big 76.4% where it could stall here. PTS has always gone green with that nice long side trade. So monthly is telling me higher. Weekly is saying to be cautious. Divergence played out. We shorted that market back to that 113, uh, 1300 area. We just got, we didn't quite reach 1300, but that was a short side trade. Now it's looking like it wants to have a, another wave count to the upside. Just have to be a little bit cautious here, guys, due to the fact that we're at that key level. All right. If you want to know more, we're at Learn to Trade Live this Saturday, London. Okay, London, Learn to Trade Live, uh, Central London. Well, on South Bank, looking forward to teaching our strategies, looking forward to teaching you how to trade the markets. And uh, there's places left this Saturday, Learn to Trade Live, London. Plus, if you want to subscribe to this channel, please hit the subscribe button down below and you won't miss any of the videos and outlooks for the markets guys okay so hit the subscribe button you get notified of when the latest update is out and so you never miss one of those markets updates which have been very important speak to you soon take care